hyper os vn version 1.0.24.7.1 for mietol devices which includes redmi note 9 pro pro max redmi note 9s redmi note 10 lite and poco m2 pro so today i have installed this rom in my redmi note 9 pro so let's take a look at this rom today let's get started so first of all this is an eu build of hyper os and this is named as hyper vn and the build date is of 22 july 2024 and you will get the notes right here i mean notes and change logs you can take a closer look so the special features in this rom is unlimited google photo storage and 90 fps in games and another feature is rooted by default as you can see in this point pre-rooted with magic 27 so let's take a closer look at this rom so first of all i will go to settings but before that let me show you the home screen so the home screen looks like this you will get a clock right here and if you hold here you will get typical hyper os settings you can customize the wallpapers from here and you get super wallpapers but they does not work unfortunately and you get these wallpapers you can see here is a lot of wallpapers and many collections and these are all live wallpapers and i have applied one in the lock screen you can see if i show you closely you can see it looks like this and there's a bunch of wallpapers like this you can see and this looks sweet as you can see and we get some more right here and these are also live of wallpapers but this does not support and we get some more and even we have some 14 ultra wallpapers and these are static wallpapers you can apply this without any issue and if i go to settings we get this settings we can customize the transition effect then the default screen like you can set the default screen from between this then we have the home screen layout you can customize the layout then in more we get these settings like enable blur folder content background then advanced material so some advanced options are here and turn off unlock animation so these are the advanced options that we get in the launcher itself and the launcher used in this rom is the of course poco launcher and we have the app vault which you can turn off then we have an intelligent assistant then i apply text sizing etc now let's go to the settings in settings you get a smooth transition like this you get a customization section like custom roms so first of all let me show you the my device section so in my device section it looks like this you can see the about info it's hyper vn version 1.0.24.7.1 dev and the unofficial maintainer of this build is thaku rahul singh and you can customize the device name from here you get the storage options then the device specs and in detailed info and specs you get the detailed information and the kernel used in this rom is the openella kinesis kernel and the android version is of course android 14 and in virtual ram you get 1 gb extended ram you can see you get the iphone like recents as you can see and even you get the ram info right here and these settings are by default not turned on you have to manually turn them on so first of all let me go to the around advanced settings so in advanced settings we get the display and control center you can choose between rounded or square you can see currently this is on a square style and if i set the rounded and if I rotate the screen once, they should be rounded. But this works in opposite way. Like you can see, I have rotated the screen and now these are rounded. But I actually turn them off. And if I turn them on again and rotate the screen, you can see they become square style. So this works in an opposite way. However, let's move on. So we get some extra options like animations, interpolation and the fake specifications in the about info of the ROM. Then we have status bar and when I open the status bar customization, the system UI restarts automatically. Then you have to unlock again. Then in status bar style, you get a lot of styles as you can see here. So currently the default status bar is applied and if I choose style 2, the system UI will restart as you can see. And it will look like this, you can see. And you get a lot of them. So for example, if I choose the style 11, then it should look like this you can see so the other settings does not change that much the clock style is basically what changes and i like the third style so let it restart again and you can see it looks like this then we have the show seconds option so lt instead of 4g and dynamic island etc and to enable 
dynamic island you have to enable the smart island option and even you can customize the background for floating notification and home screen we can customize the home screen that i showed you earlier by holding in the home screen then we have the expand top notification then power menu access hide background etc now in phone and contact we get some advanced options like after ingoing and outgoing you can customize the action then you can set own image or any other background for color screen and you get the night mode and for calling we get the MIUI dialer you can see and you can record the calls you can see the call recording is working perfectly fine and you can listen to the call from here i guess so the call recording is basically working that's what i wanted to show now there are some there are some more options like night modes then in smart mobile network and timers you get smart network settings in these settings the mobile data and the wi-fi will be used simultaneously which one of them is best will be used then we have the connection timer so that's it for the advanced settings and if i move down to notification and status bar you can see the settings see right here you can customize the control center style from the old one to the new one and in the advanced settings one thing i forgot to show you is the styles so for big dials we can customize between these three options you have to see this closely so these are three options that you get and for big dials you can see here is a music tile which can be moved above or down so this is how it looks now if i change to style 2 i think it will look different so let me unlock it so after changing it i think it's not being changed then we have the customized control center so currently it is on this style if i change it to the last one it changes like this so this option is working fine now you can customize the animations interpolation region theme and fake specifications is in the bottom now in wallpaper and personalization i basically showed you the wallpapers and you can even customize the icons and fonts from here and you can set custom themes and this is coming from theme store so the theme store is basically present in this build so uh, here is three themes the ios status bar the limitless and the default or current one and you can import any other and so we get some more settings i mean more themes right here because it's all miui theme manager now in sound and vibration we get this typical miui sound settings then we have haptic feedback now in sound effects we get the mi sound enhancer you can turn on the surround sound but in mi at all devices there is a single speaker so the surround sound will not work now in additional settings we have sound when fully charged then the tap sounds dial pad tones etc and here is an extra option which is the profile video for incoming calls then in fingerprint face and skin lock this is typical miui style so there is nothing to show you now in battery we get the current mode you can choose between performance battery saver ultra battery saver and currently it is set on balance then battery protection you get the battery health the temperature etc then additional settings you get the boost charging speed and the schedule power on off etc and talking about the battery backup of this build i got around 8 hours of screen on time in light usage i will say it's almost 9 hours in light usage and if you are a heavy user then you will most probably get around 7 hours of screen on time because the battery backup of this build is really good I did not get any battery drainage issue and even while gaming the battery drainage was around 16 to 18 percent not more than that and normally the active drain is around 6 to 8 percent only so that's pretty good feature of this build of hyper os now in additional settings we get these settings just like typical miui but there is colorful icons and we get a dedicated icon for otg and we get the floating windows and yes the floating window works for all the apps not the settings let me check if it's available in the telegram so if i hold here you can see the floating window is working and even you can make it smaller i guess but that is not working actually it has become split screen so the small window is not working i think you can do this but cannot get a smaller screen so it works basically now in display and brightness we get the sunlight mode we have color scheme and you can customize the color by your own then we have ai image engine 
so in ai image engine we have super resolution the resolution will change dynamically but that will consume more power then we have the ai image enhancement then ai hdr enhancement and mmc so the mmc is basically additional image generation in video playback so this is it now if i go to apps we have the app lock the dual apps manage apps etc uh, system app settings we get these apps so this is it i think for the settings and you can see after changing the settings the smooth animation has changed now let's talk about the performance so i tested the antudo in normal mode and i got 378528 and after using the performance mode in the battery section i got little bit more score let me show you so i got 378845 and without any performance improvement i got 528 So the score is almost the same and in CPU throttling result you can see the CPU throttling in this build is really good i got no throttling and the graph is really stable and the gaming performance is also really good i have to mention that the the gaming review is starting in few minutes but before that let me show you the camera so the camera is basically the Leica camera that is used in this rom and this is working perfectly fine there is no issue and we get 64 mp mode but i am using retina note 9 pro so it will work on 48 mp i guess but the system ui restarted without any reason let me show you if the photo is taken or not so the photo is not taken that means the 64 mp mode is not working but that may work on retina note 9 pro max but other features are working and in Like a camera we don't get access to macro camera in the pro mode but that is working on the normal mode let me show you so here we get the super macro and you can take extreme macro shots just like we do in Redmi Note 9 Pro or other mirrorless devices so that's it now one thing i have to mention is the root section root section made etc so the device is pre rooted and the magisk was installed and i just hide hide the magic and you can see i have turned on the jigs configured the denial list and added the play store play services etc and i did not found the play services let me see again so the setnet was not present and after configuring the denial list and adding this google apps in the denial list i got the safety net as you can see and even i used a module for that because without module i was not getting the safety net so you can see here is the module and now let me see check for the play certification and the play certification is not showing right now so until it comes let me show you the payment apps so the payment apps are not working because it detects the magics and the app opening speeds are pretty much higher than other roms so that may be an annoying issue so let me open the google pay so let me enter a number and you can see it shows google pay cannot be used on this device because it detects the root but in play but in play store let's check for the device certification so you can see the device is certified but still the payment apps are not working let me check in the phone pay so you can see phone pay is working fine but i don't know what's the problem with google pay it cannot be used but i think after using any, any other modules the google pay will start working so that's it now without further delay let's get to the gaming test so i have started the bgmi let's see the frame rates what we get in the bgmi so you can see currently the frame rate is around 30 fps if i show you the settings so we get extreme plus option in this rom but i am not using any module for that this is default option of this rom and currently it is six it is fixed on 60 fps because i don't want more than that already the display is of 60 hertz so there is no reason to do that so guys you can see we are easily getting around 52 to 60 fps and mostly the frame rate is hovering around 55 So guys it's raining outside so please avoid the noise So you can see the frame rate is really smooth there is very less jitters
so the maximum frame drop was of 52 fps i did not notice below that and for a second the frame rate drop frame rate drop to 47 I just noticed so you can see the ROM is very optimized and the frame rate is very stable around 55 and let me set the frame rate to 90 hertz for a second for a few seconds I will So even after setting the frame rate to 90, we are still getting frame drops around 47 to 50. And for a second it dropped to 35. So sometimes there is frame drops. but that can easily be fixed with performance modules it would be better if it if there was any performance scripts like we get in the, for realme 6 so this is the performance that you get in this build and this is sometimes the problem you cannot go to home i mean there is too much delay so the temperature reached to 42 degrees and the active drain is currently 12.53 the active drain is not 12.53 it's currently around 15 percent and previously it was around 8 to 9 percent that's why it's changing and which is why it's showing less than actual however the battery drain is pretty normal in this build of hyper os so you can definitely use this rom for gaming and using the hyper os features because it's a global build so talking about the installation the installation is nothing difficult so you have to use a b1 based recovery so the b1 based recovery is currently orange fox and that is installed on my device so after installing the orange fox recovery fb1 based just wipe dalvi cache data press the rom format data and reboot that's the normal installation of this build but even let me show that for a second so in the power menu there was some advanced two tiles extra that you will get in the advanced settings but i am not going into deep again because i already showed them now I will hold the volume up button to reboot into recovery and before flashing the ROM make sure you have removed the screen lock currently you can see there is no encryption it directly entered the recovery mode and it's showing the internal storage so after rebooting to recovery del wipe the Delvi cache metadata and data and swipe to wipe then go to files and go to that directory where you have saved the ROM zip and click on that zip and swipe to flash when the ROM is successfully flashed go to format data type yes hit enter and the, de and the device will format it then go to menu and reboot to system and the hyperbase will boot normally without any errors so this is it for this video if you found this video helpful and if you enjoyed it please like this video and if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to this channel because i upload custom rom related videos of me at all devices and realme rm6785 devices and also redmi note 10 pro and pro max custom rom so i will see you in the next video bye bye